It is a rough time of year for allergy and asthma sufferers. Our air quality makes breathing difficult. We sat down with Dr. Vipul Jain to find out why and how we can help improve symptoms. We see asthma signs pretty much on every corner. So we know that asthma is a problem for us here in the Central Valley, but what exactly does that mean? So asthma um, is a reversible disorder of the airways. It's uh, inflammation of our airways, the, the tubes that help air get into the lungs. Um, and then it also involves the smaller airways in the lungs. Uh, people will get all of those airways uh, into spasm. They narrow down and, and asthmatics uh, especially will report that as a sensation of chest tightness, uh, cough, uh, can't breathe, it affects their day-to-day -day life. But uh, unlike some other obstructive lung diseases, it's, it's reversible. Why is it such a problem here in the Central Valley? And so, um, unfortunately, we are in this geographic bowl where uh, air pollution is, is, has been always a, a big uh, issue. Um, we are in the top five or top ten cities, depending on which parameter of air pollution we, we look at. Um, and so that doesn't help. So all these uh, particulate matters, the particles in the air that are that small will get into our airways. Um, and not everyone responds that way, but people who have asthma or lung disease will um, go into spasm and have the symptoms that we just talked about. Um, so besides that, um, being at a geographical uh, disadvantage, there is uh, you know farming uh, going on um, that that brings in other dust and and stuff around. The again, the weather uh, will also promote uh, pollen and and other PM tens. Uh, the again a little bigger, uh, but five times smaller than our hair, those kind of particles in the air. And so it, it's uh, off and on there will be flares of these pollutants and uh, they will trigger asthma. So this time of year is probably especially busy because of our air quality. What are some ways that people can manage these symptoms when they do have a flare up? So when they have, you know, uh, uh, there's a step before that where I think our patients can actually uh, be proactive and monitor the air quality uh, because that's one of the big triggers um, uh, that will get them in trouble. Um, and there's a variety of ways. I mean, people, almost everyone has access to smartphones these days, the uh, San Joaquin Air, air Pollution District uh, Board has put out a smartphone app and they can actually install it on their phone, watch the air quality. So if the air quality is, is bad, then um, they need to stay indoors uh, as much as they can. Um, if they have to go out, then uh, especially people with asthma or lung disease, um, they should avoid exercise. If they are experiencing symptoms, um, I would suggest even wearing a N95 mask uh, to keep some of these pollutants uh, uh, getting inhaled. Uh, keep your uh, rescue inhalers um, stocked up. Make sure they are not empty. All of them have a counter on it. Uh, get them refilled ahead of time. Do not miss your medications. Um, some of the other things, especially in winter time, 40% uh, of our air pollution is from wood burning. So avoid those kind of things. Avoid all triggers possible. Um, those kind of things. All very important advice. We want to keep people breathing easy, right? <laughs> Thank you <laughs> so much. That's my goal. <laughs> we sure.